Hey y'all, it's Fab Jen. I'm back and I'm here with a requested video and it's on my favorite eyeliners or my favorite black eyeliners or which ones would I recommend. I can't quite remember because I wrote it down and I am a scatterbrain. So I apologize to the subscriber and or viewer that requested that, but here is the request. Okay, my first one at the top of the list is Maybelline New York Eye Studio eyeliner it's like a cream eyeliner and it is in the blackest black it's 0 0.106 ounces or approximately three grams it looks teeny but a little bit goes a long way it's a glass jar with a plastic top it is I've been using this for about a month this is kind of what it looks like it is very black it dries very uh, it doesn't dry very quickly but it dries quick enough and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Once it stays on, it stays on. It doesn't move. It is easy to remove. I haven't had a problem. I can use it on my upper waterline or my lower waterline, depending on what kind of look I have. Uh, want to go uh, going for it. Doesn't irritate my eyes at all. Doesn't have a smell. Absolutely beautiful, and it really is a dark black. It close first to that one is this Kajal here, and it's by Blue Heaven, and it's in three grams which is the same amount as the Maybelline and it comes it is foreign so it comes from India and this is what it looks like I got this off of eBay it took about three weeks to get here it has a herbally smell to it it is cool has a cooling sensation to it it is absolutely one of the most prettiest blackest eyeliners I have seen it is it comes off I've been swatching but uh, it's right here I'm gonna do an, another swatch here that's it right there top waterline bottom waterline very exotic looking it gives for some reason this one gives the most exotic look to it as far as that very intense uh, Arabian type of eye look uh, it's very 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 intense I love it it's buildable and it's just the most prettiest black even prettier than to me the Maybelline black however the reason why this isn't first is because it smears uh, yeah, let me go with the waterline right and you have watery eyes like me it tends to smear so you have to wait till it dries and you know fan your eyes and everything it's not precise so if you want to get a precise wing look this is not for you but it is very black and once it dries it stays it can even be a pain in the ass to get off after it dries I tend to have a little bit of a problem getting this completely off when I wash my face so it takes me a little time to get it off but that's also another reason why it's not at the top it's a little bit hard to get off and it can smear like a mo mofo if you have watery eyes or you know it probably smears even if you don't have watery eyes but once it dries and it sets it's there so but it's a very pretty pretty black I do like this very good for a really nice exotic Arabic type look my next one that I had before all of these I've had this one for about a month and I had the Kajal about two two or three months and the NYX I've had for a long long time like a year and uh, it was my first black pencil the thing that I don't like about this the NYX black it's in 901 black is that I find myself having to do this before I apply it but once I do that and I work it into my waterline it comes off a really nice black it's not as intense as the Kajal and I'll show you close-ups of this <laughs> I'm so sorry this is the Jordana the felt tip liner this is the Kajal after about two swipes the first swipe smeared and then this one is the NYX this is the NYX in uh, pencil in 901 in black the Kajal is very intense black and this one is extremely black but this is I consider it a different league of eyeliners because I wouldn't put this on my waterline. 
this you can put on your waterline above your eye all that other stuff this one you really can't do that this is more for precision lining and then you might want to go over it with a kajal or sorry or go over it with uh the nyx or whatever to to set it i'm not going to swatch this because i don't have a brush with me i might do individual reviews of this later on down the road but yeah the, and the NYX is okay. Sometimes I find my sorry. Sometimes I find myself doing like this, back and forth with the NYX. This I don't find myself doing that with, and this I definitely don't find myself doing this with. This formulation is a lot better. It goes on a lot smoother, and you don't have to do a lot of layers at all, if not one layer with this. This one you might have to go past it twice, depending on if you have watery eyes or not. But it's, it's still a very beautiful black color here and the NYX is nice it's a subtle more black color it's affordable it's not expensive all of these are affordable I think this was about eight bucks at Walmart this one I can't remember if it was five dollars or maybe even a little cheaper than that and this one was like maybe like two three dollars at the time so they're all very affordable and all very pretty intense black eyeliners I like them all these are my three favorites yes I have more some I like some are okay some I just probably just forgot about but I like these the most all right if you have any questions please feel free to ask rate comment rate comment and subscribe if you like because I cannot talk in this video all right and I will talk to you later all right